Okay, so I've got the Oculus Quest 2. This is the 64 gig version. Um, I'm just gonna get straight in and do the unboxing of it with my trusty knife. Got a little tag here. All right, okay, so I'll just pull that and it opens. And we can get rid of that. Okay, so on the back, we've got a few little games that, that you can get, but they're not included, as it says there. And we've got a few little options on there. And I'll put all this in the description below so you can see everything that we've got on here. But it says next level hardware. It's easy to set up apparently, but we can see about that in a minute. And how do we get into it? I'll just, ah, there we go. Oh yeah, by the way, it's by Facebook in case anybody needs to know that. All right, so we got a nice little low going on here. Let's open it up. Ta-da! That is nice looking. I was going to turn it around so I can see it. I don't know what, what that is. This is obviously the instructions and whatnot. Nice on the branding, aren't they? On the boxing and everything. So that's all the instructions. I'll have a look at that in a minute. I'm a man, I don't need to look at that sort of thing. So we've got USB-C on both ends. So we've got fast charging and we've got a brick as well, which is handy. So let's put that to the side. This is my first experience with a VR and I've gone for the VR2. I quite like that. You hold it like that, don't you? We've got X and Y in there, nice little stick as well. The buttons feel quite nice. I think I prefer them to click when you press them in, but that's cool. I like it. And then same on the other side. Yeah. Let's get this one out. It's not very heavy, that's nice. So you don't want it to be too heavy on your face, do you? Otherwise you just fall forward. Four cameras on the front. And we've got lots of cardboard on here. Let me get rid of this. Pull that off. I suppose this is for so it doesn't get scratched. I don't know about this strap. It feels like a little bit well <laughs> it feels a little bit thin and I wonder if you can get a replacement sort of Well, look, we've got some stickers inside. Oh, wow. <laughs> Another one. Yeah, look at that. All right, so that's the headset. And we've got a glasses spacer. Another glasses spacer, I suppose, is for people when you want to wear glasses inside. If you want to wear your glasses inside, I won't need to because I'm short-sighted. So okay. Sam might, you might want to. <laughs> All right, so let's, okay, let's, let's have a look at everything and then we'll come back in a minute and then we'll do a setup guide. So I'm just doing the setup and I thought I'd better show you these labels that we need to pull out. So my glamorous assistant is going to show you how to do it. It feels a bit stiff, but it comes out nicely. As you can see, we've done the other side as well. Just doing the setup. Okay, so I'm gonna put this on for the first time. I haven't turned it on yet. I assume that we've got power. So I'm gonna put it on for the first time and see what happens. I can't do it with my glasses on though. I've adjusted this so it's the right height for me, I think. It would help if I knew where the power number button is. So there's volume up and down there. There's a button there. Is that the power button? <laughs> yeah, that's the power button there. So. Okay, I appreciate that you're not going to be able to see what I can see. Long hold. Ah, whoa, it's on. I can see a no. It's not in focus though. Ah, oh, that's weird. So we're loading up for the front. Oh, it's making noises. Oh, it's not in focus. Oh, hello. Oh, wow. Oh, they're moving. 
Where's the other one? Back, back. Um, forward. <laughs> Left. There it is. Oh, wow. Okay. Huh. I feel like I can see what I'm doing, but I can't. <laughs> I mean, I can't see my hands on these. It was really weird. Okay, so English UK, not English US. And check clarity, continue. Yes, I can see. Oh, I see. You can put your hands inside and move the lenses further apart. But I don't need to do that. So I think we're okay. But it's not quite in focus. Oh, it's gone dark. Oh, wow. Balloons and bubbles everywhere. They're moving. <laughs> Please stay seated for the setup. Okay. Uh, sky. I don't need both of my... Am I going to have to put in the password? Oh, I've got to put in the password. Okay, choose safe surroundings and clear your playing area. We'll do that in a minute. Use indoors only. Yes, yes, yes. Set a guardian boundary. Oh, okay. You can draw a line so you don't go anywhere outside of it. I assume it'll go, it'll buzz and tell you. Choose appropriate content. Yeah, everything's appropriate. Okay, so we're going to try and do a boundary. So I click on that. Whoa. Wow. Oh, well, I can see the, um, I can see everything. Hello. Well, that's so weird. Everything's in black and white. How do I move? That's not, gosh, that's so weird. Oh, look down at the virtual grid. If it appears to be the floor level, select OK. It's not the floor level. If not, select reset. No, that's even higher. Nope, nope. Why is it doing that? Oh, if I do, if I go down, then it, ah, okay, go further down, and this, there we go, we're on the floor now. <laughs> Can I confirm that? That is the floor level, but it's not straight. Look down, yeah, yeah. Oh, but it's come up again now. Confirm, confirm. Switched the stationary. Define playing area. Point your controller at the floor, press and hold the trigger, draw the boundary. Oh wow, this is really cool. So, <laughs> I'm spray painting. Oh dear, I don't want to do that, do I? Like that. I'm painting your foot. There we go, I've got a boundary. Wow, that's brilliant. Oh, can you're in, oh wait, I can see that your foot, your feet are in the way. <laughs> okay, so check for objects in the area, redraw your boundary. Um, got all the lights in the way, it says. And something over here. What's there? That's the sofa. It says there's something in the way. Your foot's in the boundary. <laughs> yeah, it does say, about the uh, light. It's weird, I've got this on, but I can, I know that's a light there. Wow. Uh, I'll continue, that's fine. Confirm, yeah, confirm again. Alexa. Did Alexa do something then? No, I want to turn the light off. Oh. Alexa, front room light off. <laughs> you can reset your VR, view in your VR. Try it by turning your head in different directions. Yes, I know that. It says, I'll press, press the button until the screen is centered in front of you. Ah, I see, like that. So you press and hold, you move your head and you press and hold and it moves again. Wow, it's cool. Cool. this is so strange because I'm, as I get closer, I can see the boundary right here. And it goes red when I get really close. And I know the TV's there. Okay, reset your view. No, I don't want to do that, so continue. Devices set up. Press the Oculus button. Whoa! I want to cast now, so we try casting. Hopefully we're going to cast. Oh, my goodness, I'm in some weird sort of Jurassic place.
Okay, so I'm going to do a short test on Beat Saber. I have already done the... Oh, hang on. Review? No, 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 no. Where am I going? I've already done the preview on it. I've already test tested it. So this is going to be my first proper go on it because I know exactly what to do now. Okay, so we're starting. I've had one go at this, so I'm a professional at it now, obviously. Hey, demo. Forgive me if I'm quiet. Whoa! <laughs> do that. Oh, got it wrong! I'm starting to sweat already. Ooh. I don't know if you're supposed to poke those, like a one or I'll take a second. Oh, that was a blue one. Oh, oh, oh. normal but frankly oh come on did better than that okay that's that so i'm happy with that game that is brilliant and my glasses steamed up now so i can't see very well but that is excellent i love it and i'm going to play that again i'm probably actually going to buy the actual game because i'm loving that it's cool <laughs>